everyone. It's Matt, and today I will be covering your ears with various objects and making tapping, scratching, brushing the sounds, and so on. As you might have guessed, this is a sequel to one of my older videos titled Binaural Ear Covering with Various Objects. And that video was very well received, so I thought I'd make another one. I hope you guys like this one just as much, if not more. So anyway, let's get started. The first thing I will be covering your ears with is something that many people have used in ear covering videos, but uh, not me before. And those are gloves. I have some, not latex, but vinyl gloves here. They are pretty similar either way. is not something I do on a daily basis, as you might have guessed. Okay, the left glove is on. So now I have the two gloves on my hands. And now my right hand is going over. It's on your left ear, and I'm going to remove it from your left ear, slowly, so it sticks, and I hope you guys aren't bothered by the ticking clock in the background, because, as I mentioned in a recent video, neighbor's AC unit making a lot of noise. So I have to record in here where there's a bit more background noise, such as the ticking clock. But anyway, I'm going to cover up your left ear one more time. sound, I think. And I will be removing my hand now. And putting it back on in three, two, one. time to do both ears at once in three, two, four gear.
enough of the vinyl gloves, so I will now be removing them, if I can manage to do that. Much like how I am not used to putting these gloves on every day, I am also not used to removing them every day. thing I have is a spray-on deodorant cap. Sounds like this. Which ear should I put it on first? Your right ear or your tap the top edge of it, which I'm doing right now, as opposed to the side. just tell you that instead. It's not awkward at all, is it? Maybe I'll think of one by the end of this section. I'm not thinking about it. I'm making no progress.
is a much less interesting and complex than the ones from the vinyl gloves. But sometimes simplicity is a good thing. Some of my favorite videos are the simplest. Right. Next up is something I'm not too sure how good it'll sound, but it's worth a shot. It is a sponge. Here's the sponge. It has a soft side and a hard side. sponge is on your right ear. And I don't think it does a great job of blocking out your hearing, but it does muffle it a little, it seems, as you can hear. So now I'm just going to touch the sponge. Seems like scratching it would be a bit abrasive, so I'm just gonna run my fingers over it just a little. And tap it. But you have to be very gentle. I forgot which ear that is. It's your left ear. I had to think about that for a 
a second. Because my mic is facing me. As if you were looking at my face. So, sometimes it's easy to get confused with a sense of direction. of you wondering, how in the hell am I going to make Spongebob the voice relaxing? Well, I don't know. We'll see. Either way, I think I'm going to give it a try. Because if I can make some of the things that I've made relaxing, relaxing, I can almost definitely do Spongebob. up we have my sleep phones these are the headphones that I use to listen to ASMR videos in bed they're basically a flat headband with very very thin headphones embedded in them so that you can listen to stuff in bed and you can lie on your 
your side without them digging into your ears. And fun fact, they are what I'm wearing. original binaural ear covering with various objects video <laughs> fittingly. So let's try playing that and hope the volume is not too loud.
now it's accurate. No less than light to side. It's coming in clearer. Or the left to right side. No. That is the right side. Now we have to talk about it as I follow your right ear. Okay, I can't do this anymore. A sense of direction is killing me. I don't know what to talk about. I'm not the best wrangler of text on the internet, so try making a few random like videos. Oh, okay. how Things have changed. Anyway, let's stop this. So, okay. That's enough of that. So, back to what we were doing before. It's time to take these off your head. So, last but not least is the fuzzy blue wind screen, which I have used in several videos already. Zoom H1 for my early videos. But I don't really have too much use for it now. <laughs> 